Hey, welcome back to Fat Mama Physics. In this video, we are going to go over examples. We're going to go over an example about the force due to gravity or FG. This video assumes that you already know what FG stands for, the units, the fact that it's a vector, and the difference between weight and mass. That's just highlighting the fact that your weight is relative, and oftentimes people confuse it with the mass, your mass. Weight depends on the not only your mass, but the gravitational attraction that you're feeling depending where you are, whether that is in outer space, on Earth, on the moon, etc. Mass doesn't change. It's the same no matter where you go. It's the amount of matter that because it's the amount of matter that you're made of. So knowing that, let's get down to these questions. I'm going to do question one, example A, B, and C. And uh, question two, I'm going to give it as try yourself, which I will play myself in fast play for the solutions. Aaron Yeager, here is his mask, was falling off the castle walls. There was one point when he experienced 111 newtons of air resistance. I'm going to label that as F air. We need to calculate his weight. Okay, so we learn a new term. The weight is the force due to gravity. It's a vector, and to find that, we need to multiply the mass by acceleration due to gravity. So we know uh, Aaron's mass. This is uh, 75 kilos. We also know the acceleration due to gravity on Earth, which is um, 9.8 meters per second squared okay you might be wondering oh why is there no negative sign in this case we do not need the negative sign we and in fact for all your que all the questions dealing with g you do not need to put in a negative sign because as you're doing the question you would have accounted for the directionality of the force in your equation yourself so it's a little bit different than the last unit you set up your problem to to factor into direction, you don't have to substitute negative the negative sign for acceleration due to gravity. So if I substitute these in, I get 75 kilos times, times 9.81 meters per second. On the calculator, I get 735.75. Rounding off, we get 736 newtons. Uh, I mean, sure, it's a direction you could put towards the center of the Earth, but asking for the weight assumes that directionality already so it's not necessary you that you state this for other forces maybe you do okay question B the net vertical force acting on Aaron and don't forget we need to draw a free body diagram drawing him as an oval we have the force due to gravity acting on him we have the uh, acceleration due to gravity which we found out is a 735 point 375, no rounding. Air resistance is in the upwards direction when if he's falling downwards. And uh, that is 111 one newtons. I'm also going to label the downwards direction to be our positive direction. Uh, the reason why I like to do that because FG is greater than F air it just gives me a positive number to work with. So then the net vertical force acting on him is me looking along the vertical line and summing up the forces in that direction. Put the y for the vertical and subtracting f air because it's pointing opposite to my positive direction. Making sure that I do not round off my answers from the last question, I get 62475. Rounding off 625 newtons, and this is where I must date the direction because the net vertical force is in a downwards direction. Okay, question C. We need to calculate his vertical acceleration. We know that F net is equal to MA. To find the acceleration, I need to know the mass and the F net. I do know the F net from the previous question right here. And as for the mass, it was given to me in the question already. So solving for acceleration, I get F net over M. So that's uh, two. So that's six two five newtons divided by seventy five kilos. I get eight point three 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 repeated, which is going to round to eight point three three meters per second squared in the downwards direction. Or I could use newton per kilogram as my units. That works too. 
So that's question one. Notice I've kind of broken this problem into steps that you would take if I were just to ask you question C, his vertical acceleration. Okay, so now it's a time it's time for you to try example two. Let's just make sure you understand the problem. Finally, Aaron Yeager, his mass, reaches terminal velocity from the last question. Calculate the air resistance acting on him. So we're using a very similar setup in the previous question, but now he has reached terminal velocity, and that's going to tell you something about the acceleration, okay? So good time to pause the video, and here I go with the solutions. At terminal velocity, the acceleration is going to be zero. So if we draw a free body diagram, the FG is going to be equal in magnitude to the air resistance, but opposite in direction. So if we write this all down, our F net is going to be zero because acceleration is zero. That way, when we write F net out and solve for the force due to air resistance, we get the force of gravity is going to be equal to air resistance, giving us 736 newtons, but in the upwards direction. Okay, so here we have a solution. Because the Aaron is going at terminal velocity, he is not accelerating, meaning that the two forces opposing one another are going to be equal and opposite. So it will his the air resistance will be just equal to his weight, but in the upwards direction. I guess if you just wrote all that down in words without doing all these steps here, that would have been fine as well. But this is just to uh, give you an idea of the setup, so you practice the setup for future questions. Okay, so that is the conclusion of this video, which we've just touched on uh, some examples. There is one more video that I will do for the next two problems. So tune in to the next video. Also, going over examples about the force due to gravity. Don't forget, if you want your girlfriend or your boyfriend to lose some weight, it is much easier just to take them to the moon instead of making them go on a diet. Fat Mama Physics, signing out.